Every once in a while, I get the feeling that Hapa really does want to make a great looking aircraft model and most of the time that is when Hapa does a Hapa Wings Club model. But is this also the case today? Well, we will find out in this episode of review and once again thanks to the great prices of the FMP shop. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 787-9 of Sodia. At the front of the box, we have a cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and on top of the box, we have the Sodia branding. The back side of the box then, unfortunately, gives us another cutout, so let's just ignore that dreadful part of the box design and focus on the fact that this is a limited edition and it is a Harpa Wings Club model. And before we get further into today's episode of review, it is worth mentioning that this aircraft model does come with a stand. And here she is, the Boeing 787-9 in the Saudia Year of Arabic Calligraphy 2021 livery. 2021? Yes, of course, Harpa has brought out the model in 2022, but that's just because Harpa is extremely efficient in bringing models out when they are still relevant. But in any case, the model itself might have a few things that could be quite interesting for collectors other than also just the very spectacular livery, of course. And the best way to find out if this model is worth our money and time is by taking a closer look at it. Starting off with the tail section where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Sordia branding. We do also have a bit of detailing on the horizontal stabilizers. On the fuselage, we then find the full registration code of the aircraft. Towards the very tail of the aircraft, we then also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we then have the writing of Saudi both in English and in Arabic writing. We also have the flag of Saudi Arabia. We do also find a few static ports and pedal tubes across the fuselage, so that's very nice. The IATA logo, the Sky Team logo. Underneath the cockpit windows, we have the name of the aircraft, and we also have the last two digits of the registration code. On top of the fuselage and across the aircraft, we then also have these lovely safety markings printed on, so that's a very nice addition for sure. The cockpit section itself then consists of the cockpit windows with the window wipers and we also have the circular marking around the radome. Above the cockpit windows we do also find the emergency hatch for the cockpit. The engine nacelles have been kept in all white but do have the silver leading edge and the safety relevant markings printed on as well as the branding for the year of the Arabic calligraphy 2021. The physical detailing of the engines is as always with the Dreamliners from Happy Wings rather nice especially with the chevron nozzles and also from the front where we very nicely can see the engine fan blades. From the engines we can move on to the wings which we should definitely also take a closer look at starting off with the top side where we can see the different flaps, slats and spots. Spoilers have been carved out rather nicely, and we also have the marking as to where to walk on the wing. The underside of the wings offers us more nice physical detailing and also the full registration code that has been printed on once more. And when we then take a look at the landing gear, we can see that Herpa also here has done a rather nice job, especially with the main landing gear, but also the front landing gear I think is pretty good. And here Herpa has truly gone all out and have even added a little red stripe. What an incredible work here from Harper Wings. But all jokes aside, this little red stripe adds so much to an aircraft model and of course should not be exclusive to Harper Wings Club models, but simply a standard with every Harper Wings model. On the belly of the aircraft, we then find a hole in the fuselage. However, in this case, of course, there is a stand included, so it does make sense and it doesn't destroy any printed details, so I don't mind. And then last but certainly not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 787-9 in the Saudia Year of Arabic Calligraphy 2021 livery from Harper Wings and Scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? So right from the get-go, there is of course no doubt that this aircraft model is far superior to any Harper Wings standard aircraft model. Not so much because of the physical detailing, because that is pretty much the same that you could expect from any standard Harper Wings model. But of course, because of the quite increased detailing in the print. 
And even though in many cases it's just the small things, I mean I make my joke about Helper adding a little red stripe at the front landing gear, but it's these kind of small details that make a huge difference on an aircraft model, whether it just looks like a toy or actually a lifelike recreation of an actual aircraft. Now apart from the additional details, the main reason for many collectors for getting this aircraft model will of course be the special livery of the aircraft. And the special livery part of the aircraft is mainly concentrated around around the tail section. Here I think Helper has done an excellent job. I think the colors come through really nicely. They have printed this very accurately. It looks really, really great. The only thing I'm a little bit in doubt about is actually when we look underneath the aircraft, we have kind of this white line. I'm not entirely sure if this is how it's supposed to be or if this is how the aircraft looks in real life, but it does look like it's been printed like this on purpose from Harper Wings because you can kind of see that it kind of fades, so you have the colorful print underneath. In any case, I think it looks all right, and if it is not how it is supposed to be, at least it is in a place where you don't normally look underneath the aircraft. Now before we conclude the video with now this is a lovely aircraft model, there is one thing we desperately need to check up with and that is actually the standard livery part of the aircraft model, especially the kind of faded yellowish uh, color we have at the top side of the fuselage, because unfortunately Harpa is incredibly inconsistent with this color. Basically every Saudia model you will get has a different color. Not specifically within one production, but for example this Dreamliner has one color, another Dreamliner, oh, we have one here, has an entirely different color. They are supposed to be the same color, but Harper is messing this up every single time. Now, in defense of our aircraft model here, so the Harper Wings Club model, I would say that Harper is much closer to what it's supposed to look like on this aircraft model, and the previous Dreamliner is just far too gray in the colors. But it is just annoying that you basically can't place any Harperwing Saudia aircraft models next to each other because they all look different. But still, in conclusion, I would say we have a very lovely aircraft model. It has loads of details, of course, details that should be standard, but they unfortunately with Harper just aren't. They have gotten the colors of the aircraft model, in my opinion at least, quite right, especially with this special livery part, but also the standard livery part is uh, much closer to what it's supposed to be than we have seen with other Saudi aircraft models from Harper Wings. So apart from the fact that a Wings Club model, of course, always is quite expensive, even more expensive than the already crazy prices of standard aircraft models, it is definitely a really nice aircraft model. And if you want to have a highly realistic Dreamliner in your fleet, then this is definitely worth having in one's collection. And so before my voice finally completely fades away, it is time to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed the video, I hope you will leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.